So as you saw there in the opener, um, we have a little audience today here in the wood yard. Uh, they all came in to watch me make some bundles. <laughs> no, but actually right now behind the camera, there's still uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, still like eight or nine uh, deer hanging around. Anyway, I have some bundles to make and I have, look at that, some new bags. I wasn't able to get any of the red bags that I normally use. So the only bags that were in stock were the yellow ones. And then, as I got thinking about it, it's almost like my stand, the roadside stand is green and then the lettering on the sign is yellow. So in a sense, these yellow bags actually match the stand a little bit better. So I'm gonna make up some bundles quick and then um, I've got some scraps to clean up from the last video over there by the Yappa. I want to get a few of those odds and end pieces that uh, we didn't send through the Yappa. I want to get those picked up and taken over to the Wolf Ridge so I can split those up. But before I do that, like I said, I'm just going to make some bundles. Um, because the bundles were all gone from the stand this morning. Still using the trusted old garbage can. Still working well. Um, I saw some options for bundles, making bundles at the Paul Bunyan show, and I've kind of been thinking about exploring an alternative to um, the bags. Uh, so I did look at a few of those bundling, bundle machines down at the Paul Bunyan show, um, but haven't made any decisions yet. And since I just got in a new order of these snazzy new yellow bags, I know I'm going to be sticking with bags for at least a hundred more bundles. If you are loading bags, the one thing I will tell you is, once you get your garbage can or pail, whatever you have that you're using, a little bit full and you pull it out, if you want to put any extra pieces in, put those extra pieces in the center. So like spread the wood out in the center and they slide in a lot easier than trying to put them down on the side next to the bag because they grab a hold of the bag material and don't slide in good. All right, so got four made. Like I said, I'm only gonna make four right now and just take these up because there's currently zero bundles in the stand and four will be good for now. In fact, sometimes I think that if you put out even amounts, like so instance, if I put four bundles out, that's 20 bucks. If somebody comes and they, let's say they maybe only want one or two bundles, but they see there's just four, I think sometimes it encourage pe encourages people to like, well, I got 20 bucks here, I'll just buy all of them. I don't know, maybe not, but I had four out before and they all sold at once. So just a little strategy I'm trying right now. Um, instead of putting out like, you know, six or five or seven or some odd number, put out an even amount, even 20 bucks out there. And maybe somebody will just come and boom, 20 bucks, easy to do, pick them up and go. All right, so we got the green sign with the yellow letters, and now the green stand with the yellow bags. I think they look pretty good there. Oh, I gotta get some loose wood up here too. But yeah, I don't mind the yellow bags. I think it looks pretty good after all. Go pack. Here are the few logs that I have left from, uh, from the last video of running everything through the Yappa that was over here in this pile. Um, some of this stuff has just got some crotch pieces and some big knots sticking out. Um, but one thing, you know, so like for instance, on this piece right here, you can see this branch sticking out, this crotch, whatever right there. So like when I'm measuring something like this out, and I've explained this before in the video, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna make a mark from this end in 16 inches, and then the mark from that end in 16 inches. And then whatever that middle piece, whatever it's left, if it's, you know, 
24 and under, I'll just leave that um, and I'll use that for my personal use in the boiler. Um, so again, sometimes when you're, you know, bucking things up, it pays to uh, just kind of look and see what you're going to end up with. You know, so like for instance, on this piece, you know, I'm probably going to get one 16 inch cut there, then there's that crotch, and then I'll probably start down at that end, 16, 16, and then I'll be left with that big chunk in the middle. You know, so instead of making a mark here at 16 and then a mark there at 16 and ending up with possibly like a six or eight inch piece on the end there, I'll make marks from each end where it meets in the middle where the ugly stuff is, then that's what I set aside for myself. All right, so she's waiting. She's waiting right there patiently to uh, chew into some of this wood. So let's get her warmed up. I'm going to be using the perfect stick once again. Alright, so the rounds are over here, ready to go. Unfortunately, I have to also go. I have a few things I have to go and do, so the splitting of these is going to have to wait for another day. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.